UWRF's Focus on You presents an interview with New York Times reporter Jeff Zeleny. On November 18th, UWRF had the chance to see New York Times political correspondent Jeff Zeleny come and shed some light on the current political situation in America. Politics and the criminal justice system. Uh, for many of you, uh, Jeff may be a familiar face. He is a frequent guest on programs such as Washington Week with Gwen Ifill, Face the Nation, and Charlie Rose. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, we have his much sought after insights in person on campus today. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Mr. Jeff Zeleny. Thank you very much, Blake. Um, I appreciate that uh, kind introduction. Seems like a long introduction, uh, um, but that's my fault because I wrote it. So uh, thanks for listening to all of that. Jeff's main goal was to sum up the November elections. So let's start with the why. You know, some elections are given sort of shorthands or nicknames, and this election should be called the recession election. You know, there's no doubt if the unemployment rate had been lower, if the economy had been better, the outcome for Democrats most certainly would have been brighter. With the November elections turning out like they did, do you think that is an initial response to kind of how the country's gone so far with, uh, you know, like big spending, the health care bill, or do you, think it's, do you think it has to do with groups such as like the, the Tea Party movement? I think it's a combination of both. I think uh, things are, are interrelated. Uh, you know, people wanted change, and they wanted it um, pretty quickly, and uh, a lot of that change, they think, hasn't happened. But you know, if the economy would have been better, if, the, uh, if unemployment would have been would have been lower if more people would have been working. I think that uh, that this election may have turned out differently. Uh, this midterm election, you know, it was sort of a chance for voters to give their um, you know, opinion basically on on how they think things are going in Washington. So I think the the Tea Party movement and the rise of some of this sort of a discontent and, and anger is just symptomatic of of um, you know what people are feeling as a whole. Jeff is a national political correspondent for the New York Times. Uh, Mr. Zelny was named to the position in March 2010 after working as a White House correspondent where he traveled with President Obama across the United States and the world, reporting from Cairo when he, the president delivered his first major address to the Muslim world, and from Oslo as he accepted the Nobel Peace Prize. With your travels around the world with Barack Obama and his many like, press conferences, I know he did the big one in Cairo, uh, to the, his first address to the Muslim world. Uh, what are some big, I guess, memories or milestones along those travels that you'd like to share? Well, one of the things I think we've, uh, um, I was sort of struck by is how people across the world react to him. Um, you know, even long before he was president, uh, the period from 2005 when I was in Russia with him where no one knew who he was. He's walking through a red square in Moscow. As an a average American, no one knew who he was. Like to the next year, he was in Africa where tens of thousands of people were lining the streets for him, and largely because his grandmother lives in this African village, and he was sort of going to see her. But the next time he, he returns as a presidential candidate, he's in Germany with uh, you know, f a couple hundred thousand people at a rally for him. So his, uh, the, the quickness and the, uh, and the swiftness in which he became a, an international a celebrity has been something that's interesting to uh, watch. Um, and I think frustrating for him in a sense that uh, you know, he, you know, he's now, now when he travels, he's not able to sort of like leave his bubble um, and sort of just go out and see things. But it's been interesting to see how the world has reacted, uh, um, reacted to him. So what role will Minnesota and Wisconsin play in the upcoming 2012 elections? Wisconsin is a, one of the central presidential battlegrounds in the country. Why is that? Because a diversity of uh, um, a diverse set of opinions sort of reside in in Wisconsin. You know, it's never too far to the right. It's never too far to the left. It sort of swings back and forth more so than a lot of other states in the country. Um, there's sort of a handful, a small collection of 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 swing states, and Wisconsin is truly one of those swing states. Minnesota is uh, is to some degree, and it obviously has voted Republican. In, in a presidential races before, um, but generally not. It doesn't quite swing as as much as Wisconsin. But 
Um, if President Obama is going to be reelected, he will need to sort of recreate his path from 2008. He won Minnesota and Wisconsin you know, by wide margins in 2008. If he um, hopes to be to be reelected, he doesn't have to have those wide margins. That may not happen again, but he almost certainly has to win you know, both Minnesota and Wisconsin, unless he happens to you know um, uh, find some support in other places. But it's pretty unlikely to think that a Democrat you know will um, say will flip a state in the South or will you know uh, win Texas or something. So these states in the Upper Middle West um, are long-standing presidential swing states. And they are places where Democrats have to come and Democrats have to win. To see more of the Jeff Zeleny interview and presentation, check out the school website at uwrf.edu. Thank you.